Coronavirus outbreak has had a major impact on our nation's economy. Obviously, News 5, we're learning more about what the cost has been for Colorado's cattle ranches. News 5's Patrick Nelson visited one of the local ranches to ask about the concerns and the future of the industry. If you've been to the grocery store lately, you've noticed ground beef is in high demand. But for some reason, those sales are not helping local cattle ranchers who say right now, times are tough. I visited the Freeman Ranch in Yoder, Colorado. It's been a labor of love for Russell Freeman's family for 120 years. Colorado's cattle producers say they are dealing with plummeting cattle prices and fear what it could mean for the future. The U.S. Department of Agriculture announced it will be investigating price-fixing allegations within the cattle industry. Once again, it goes back to making your, making your livelihood. Cattle people get a check once a year. And if that check doesn't come in and you can't have a living experience, then your, your way of life goes out the window. Federal and state regulations restrict cattle ranchers from selling cuts of beef directly to Colorado consumers. The state of Wyoming cut that red tape, and Freeman is asking Colorado lawmakers to consider doing the same thing. Change the regulations in Wyoming so that ranchers can sell directly to consumers cuts of beef. Right now, the only way that a rancher can sell cuts of beef to a consumer is through a USDA plant. And there's a whole bunch of state inspected plants that I can sell beef to, but I have to sell you the whole beef and I can sell 10 of you a beef and then process it through the plant and you pay the processor. But it would be nice if, pull, if, if the governor would do that in Colorado too. It would, it would really help me be able to sell you steaks to grill this weekend if that simple rule could be slightly averted. United States Senator Cory Gardner agrees changes needed to help Colorado ranchers prevail through this tough time. We should eliminate some of that red tape because it would result in uh, more local food consumption and the ability of a, a farmer ranch to sustain themselves. The Freeman Ranch says since the start of COVID-19 shutdowns, they've seen the price of cattle drop 35%. There is still hope that the economy might be able to rally back by Memorial Day or even 4th of July, two big cookout holidays that could be huge for the cattle industry. However, until we get to that point, the uncertainty remains. We hope that you'll join us for our full story coming out tonight on News 5 at 10. Always watching out for you, Patrick Nelson, News 5.